I hit three costume places before I found one that had a habit my size. I, I, I don't believe this. You should see me driving over here, Boyce and Christopher. A nun doing 80 miles per hour in a sports car. How did you get in here? Oh, Mother Superior let me in. She and I had a lovely, lovely nun-to-nun -nun talk. I told her I had to see you. She bought the whole thing? Oh, I would look very devout. This is blasphemy! Well, I prefer to think of it as ingenuity. You weaseled this out of Charlie! I never weaseled, Frankie. Yeah. I groveled. I come here for peace and quiet, and what do I get? Sacrilege! I want you out of here! Oh, no way! Now! I didn't become a sister for nothing, you oh, know. Oh, yes, you did! I'm staying, Frankie. Shh! Mary Frances! Seven Mother! I thought I heard arguing. Is there a problem? There isn't a problem? We weren't arguing. We were debating. Rather forcefully, if I may say so. Oh, I did get a bit zealous there, didn't it? it it's over now. Um, I think that we should get back to cleaning up the kitchen, so I have asked Sister Cassandra to lend me a hand. I'll leave it to you then. Thank you. Sister Cassandra. No, you wouldn't turn me in. I was this close. Yeah, but you didn't do it. It's because you still care for me. What I care about is getting you psychiatric help. This is wacko city, counselor. You wanted to get away from the cares of the world and reflect, right? That is what I wanted to do. Well, I'm letting you do that. No, you're not. Keep your voice down. You are the world that I wanted to get away from, and you're here. I won't bother you. Look at me. I'm bothered. Shh. Now will you get out of here? Hey, what the hell was that? Mary Francis. I'm not sure I explained the bell to you. No, you didn't. It uh, signals the beginning of a period of uh, silent meditation. For the next hour, everyone in the convent must observe strict silence. You know... Hmm. Hmm. Good bear. I have something for you. If the Mother Superior knew why I was here, she wouldn't hold me to silence. You... I really love what I brought you. Especially seeing what they feed you around this place. Sisters like good hearty food. Yeah, but you're into health food. Not stew with fatty beef and salty pork that they dip in a heavy flour gravy. I can pick out the vegetables. What would you say to a wheat German granola carob cake? Hmm? No. No? You said no? You heard me. I heard you, but I don't believe you. Why don't I leave it right here, just in case? Okay? Are you going to help me clean up or what? Sure. When do we hack up the salt pork? You know, all of that saturated fat oozes into everything, including the veggies. Did you know that? And very succulent. It'll put hair on your chest, that's for sure. You are not going to provoke me, Cass. Wouldn't dream of it, Frankie. If this is you being silent, I would hate to be around when you have something to say. Oh, I have plenty to say. I think you should live life the way you want to. I'm trying. How? By denying yourself? You can't change what you are or what you want by hiding behind these walls. I want you to realize that. Look at Harden. You wanted your cake, and you want me too. <clears throat> Silent meditation, Mary Francis. That's good. Silent meditation. 